there have been two seminal studies that were published in the past couple of years, one the charted study um, and the other the stampede study. In these two studies, men with advanced hormone-sensitive prostate cancer were randomized to standard of care, which was androgen deprivation therapy, or alternatively, androgen deprivation therapy plus six cycles of docetaxel chemotherapy. And these two studies gave remarkable results in that the concomitant use of docetaxel with androgen deprivation therapy led to a marked improvement in overall survival in both studies. So um, the controversy that now exists is who are the appropriate patients sh who should be treated with a combination of androgen deprivation therapy and docetaxel. Uh, it appears, based on follow-up from the charted study, that only men with high volume disease, as defined by four or more bony metastases and or visceral metastases, were the ones who benefited from the combination. So my conclusion from the studies would be men with high volume metastatic disease uh, who are hormone sensitive should be treated with a combination of androgen deprivation therapy and docetaxel chemotherapy. Um, and men who present de novo walk in the door with newly diagnosed metastatic disease as opposed to presenting with early disease and then developing metastatic disease eventually, these men with de novo metastatic disease probably also have a different, more aggressive biology and should be treated as well with a combination of androgen deprivation therapy and docetaxel.